a black hole is a region in space which has a gravity so strong that even light cannot escape from it. So, if one wants to escape a black hole, then it must travel faster than the speed of light. Or maybe even that won't be enough. Theoretically, a black hole has a boundary called event horizon and an extremely dense center, which is called the singularity. The scientists infer its presence by examining the behavior of the objects that surround it or fall into it. Depending upon their mass, black holes are divided into four categories, though the one called miniature black hole is purely theoretical, with the size of an atomic particle but the mass of Mount Everest. The other types are supermassive black holes. They can have a mass of nearly million to billion suns. Evidence suggests that such black holes exist at the center of most galaxies. Scientists imaged this type of black hole through Event Horizon Telescope in 2019. However, scientists do not know how such black holes form, although galaxies may play a role in their formation. Intermediate black holes have a mass of about 100 to 1000 solar masses. It is assumed that they are created when stars or black holes collide. Stellar mass black holes are the most common one. According to NASA, a typical stellar class of black hole has a mass between 3 to 10 solar mass and is formed when a star 10 to 20 times more massive than our sun dies and collapses upon itself. When the fuel of a star is entirely or mostly burned, then the core of the star collapses under its own weight and rest of the stars, rest part of the star is just gone away by an explosion. Sometimes we call it supernova explosion. So this core of the star collapses and becomes either a black hole or a neutron star depending the mass of the or how much material is inside the core. So if there is more material, nothing can stop it. It becomes a black hole. It becomes a so-called singularity and the space time wraps around it and it just go, becomes invisible. If it's a neutron star, in case of a neutron star, the mass is not, core mass is not that high. So it is stopped by a pressure called the degeneracy pressure. Neutrons, for example, neutron is a fundamental particle. It's de so-called degeneracy pressure. It's stopped by that. It is still extremely dense. For example, a cup of neutron star matter would outweigh possibly the Mount Everest. Stellar mass black holes bend the space-time around them in an extreme way, more powerfully than a supermassive black hole. Therefore, they are indispensable to probe some extreme aspects of the universe. But first, we need to identify them. Gravitational waves can indicate their presence, but this signature is very transient. These black holes can also be recognized when they devour material from a companion star and therefore shine in X-rays when viewed through a compatible telescope. But a neutron star can also shine in X-rays by accreting matter from a companion star in a similar way. Although it has a hard surface but may seem comparable in terms of mass and size. So, in an effort to distinguish stellar mass black holes from neutron stars, scientists studied the archival X-ray data from the decommissioned astronomy satellite Rossi X-ray Timing Explorer and identified the effect of the lack of hard surface on the observed X-ray emission by studying the change in spectrum of light due to scattering from electrons. We studied a number of sources, number of such X-ray sources, which could be either neutron stars or black holes. And we had a very good idea which are, which are possibly the black hole candidates and which are possibly the neutron stars. Now, based on this temperature of the electron cloud and some other parameters, which will be too, too technical to describe, so I'll not, but there are several parameters. Based on those several measured parameters, we could entirely distinguish 
the two populations, black holes and neutron stars. And this we could do because black holes do not have the uh, hard surface. And this lack of hard surface, therefore, we could easily identify from the measured X-rays, which are uh, observed with uh, one particular satellite in our work. According to the scientists, their study has led to an extremely strong signature of accreting stellar mass black holes. And the study has been published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society.